Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about Robinhood, the investment app, and more specifically, we're gonna go ahead and download and install and set up our Robinhood account. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, if you're not familiar with Robinhood, it's definitely one of the more popular investment apps on the market right now. Basically what it is, you just download the app, you add in your banking information, and then you can start trading stocks and they even trade options on this app. So let's go ahead and get this started. So I'm here in the app store. I'm gonna go ahead and download the app right here. It's called Robinhood. It's kind of a turquoise color. It looks like it has a feather. Maybe it's a bow and arrow on it. If you don't have the app already, be sure to check my video description. I'll try to leave a referral link there. From time to time, they run promotions where if you use my referral link, then you get a bonus and so do I. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the app now. All right, I went ahead and downloaded the app. I'm gonna go ahead and open it now. All right, so here's the home screen and it says they do free stock trading. So they do zero commission trading. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go and click the sign up button right here. It says turquoise one towards the bottom. If you already have a login, then you will need to click the login button. I don't, so I'm gonna click sign up. All right, next it's asking for my email. I'm gonna go ahead and enter that in off screen now. All right, I went ahead and entered in my email. Next, I'm gonna click this little turquoise button right here called continue. I'm gonna click there now. All right, next they're asking me to set up a password. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that in off screen now. All right, I went ahead and set up my password. I'm gonna click continue now. All right, next Robinhood app is asking for my full legal name. So this is going to be verified. Usually they're gonna ask for ID or they're gonna do a name check. So you can't put in a fake name like something on Cash App. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my name now. All right, I went ahead and entered in my name. I'm gonna click continue now. All right, next they're asking for my phone number. So I'm gonna enter that in off screen now. All right, I entered my phone number. I'm gonna click continue now. All right, next they're asking for my date of birth and right below it, there is a disclosure saying Robinhood is required by law to collect this information. Usually this is because of the, I think it's called Patriot Act, but I'm not too sure. If you happen to know the name of the act, be sure to leave a comment below. But I'm gonna go ahead and enter my date of birth into the Robinhood app now. All right, I went ahead and entered my date of birth. I'm gonna click continue now. All right, next they're asking for my residential address. Same thing. This is because of the federal guidelines. They have to know my home address. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that in now. All right. I went ahead and entered that in. Next, they're asking about my citizenship. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that in now. All right. I entered that in. I'm going to go ahead and click continue now. All right. Next, they are saying they need to verify my identity. So they will ask for my social security number. Their disclosure says they protect your social security number. It will not be shared without your permission. Also, they're saying it's not an actual credit check. So it's not going to impact your credit score. And also, they're saying that they only transmit your social security number through an encrypted and secure source. So I'm gonna go ahead and click continue now. All right, next they're asking me to enter in my social security number. I'm gonna click and enter that in now. All right, I went ahead and enter that in. I'm gonna go ahead and click continue now. All right, next they're asking how much investment experience do you have? Usually this is going to be if they set up some sort of restrictions or tiered restriction on your account. They don't want you to blow through all of your money or lose the farm. So just be honest with them and let them know and then they will set up your account accordingly. I'm gonna go ahead and enter mine in now. All right, next they're giving an option to enable options trading. So if you're gonna be using Robinhood to trade options, which is different than stocks, then you wanna go ahead and click what's appropriate. For me, I would like to have that enabled. So I'm gonna go ahead and click yes, all right? Next, they are asking if I am employed, and this is another federal law or federal required question, so I'm gonna go ahead and enter that in now. Next, they're asking for my employer name, occupation, and job description, so I'm gonna enter that in off screen now. All right, I went ahead and entered that in. I'm gonna click continue now. All right, next, they're asking if myself or a family member is a senior executive or 10% shoulder holder at a publicly traded company. So you wanna click which one applies to you. I'm gonna go ahead and click there now. All right, next, they are asking if myself or a family member works for another brokerage. So go ahead and enter which information applies to you. I'm going to enter mine now. All right, next they're asking me to verify my name. So I'm going to go ahead and verify that and click continue. All right, next they're asking me to verify my last name. So I'm going to go ahead and verify that and then click continue. All right, next they're asking me to review the application and it looks like there's some terms and disclosures and conditions in here. Be sure to read through all of this. And if you agree to it, go ahead and click review here at the bottom to submit your application. I'm going to go ahead and click there now. All right, next the screen pops up and says your next step is to invest in on Robinhood. So it gives a couple of Q and A's there of why you should fund your account, how your money is protected and how Robinhood transfers money. Go ahead and read through that. And if you agree to it, go ahead and click continue. I'm going to click there now. All right, next they're asking to link my account. So I know that I will be trading on Robinhood. So I'm going to go ahead and fund it now. So I'm going to choose the bank from this list here. 
If your bank isn't here, you just want to click more banks. I'm going to click there now. And then you can just type in a bank that you bank with. So let's try PenFed. So if your bank doesn't pop up, then you can go ahead and link it manually. So just click there and then you'll use the routing number and account number. My bank is actually on this list here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. All right, next they're asking to log in to your bank account and that gives them access to transfer money back and forth between your bank account. So you'll want to enter your username and password. I'm going to go ahead and do that on off screen now. All right, I went ahead and enter that in. I'm going to go ahead and click next now. All right, next Chase is saying that they have to send a temporary pin number to confirm that it is me that's setting this direct communication up. So you can have it text message it or emailed or voice messaged. I'm going to go ahead and choose text message now. All right, next they're saying that the pin number was sent out. So I'm going to go ahead and flip over to my text message now. All right, I went ahead and pulled up the code that was text messaged me. I'm going to flip back to the app and copy it in now. All right, I went ahead and entered the code. I'm going to click next now. All right, next they're asking me to choose an account that I would like to fund my Robinhood account with. So I'm going to go ahead and choose one now. All right, next they're asking me to choose how much I would like to fund into my Robinhood account. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that now. All right, I went ahead and chose a funding amount. I'm going to click submit now. All right, next I got this pop-up. It says success. And they're letting me know that the transfer will be initiated once your application is approved. The funds will be available in four to five trading days. So this is nothing immediate because the application still has to be approved by somebody in the Robinhood office. So I'm going to click got it now. All right, so I went ahead and set up the account. Now it's saying my application is submitted. And then while the application is under review, you can explore the app and build a watch list. So I'm going to click continue to Robinhood now. Next, it's asking me to add notifications for the app that we can get updates about important events, bank transfers, and dividend payouts. You can choose if you want to add that or not. I'm going to click not now. All right, so there you have it. That is how you set apply and set up your Robinhood account. Now, just keep in mind that when the application goes through, it is possible that they're going to require additional documentation. And you run into that a lot with any kind of financial apps or with any kind of debit cards or banking apps, things like that, because the federal rules require them to collect a lot of information. So I'm expecting them to request a copy of my driver's license, probably some sort of utility bill, something like that. But until I hear from them, that is how you can set up and apply for a Robinhood investing app. If you happen to know what type of documents Robinhood usually asks for, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up and I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching.